everybody. Today we're gonna read a story called Billy's Bucket by Cass Gray, illustrated by Gary Parsons. <clears throat> Billy's Bucket. <clears throat> Can I have a bucket for my birthday? asked Billy. Billy's dad looked up from his newspaper. A bucket? You don't want a bucket for your birthday. No one gets a bucket for his birthday. Why not? asked Billy. Because, Billy, explained his mom, buckets are, well, buckets are far too buckety to be a birthday present. But Billy wouldn't be persuaded. Please, can I have a bucket? He asked. How about a bike? Said his dad. Or some new sneakers, said his mom. Or a computer game. I want a bucket, said Billy. All right, sighed Billy's dad. You can have a bucket for your birthday. Yippee, shouted Billy. Wow, look at all those buckets. The next day, Billy and his mom and dad went to Buckets R Us. There were buckets of buckets at Buckets R Us. Rubber buckets, plastic buckets, metal buckets, garden buckets, farm buckets, builder's buckets, beach buckets, and even soccer buckets. Billy's mom and dad followed Billy up and down every single aisle. What kind of bucket are you looking for, they asked. I don't know, said Billy, but I'll know it when I see it. Billy looked long and hard at every single bucket on every single shelf. There it is, he shouted. That's the one I want. Right there. 14 shelves up, 78 across from the left. Billy's mom and dad got someone to help them. They all look the same to me, said the sales clerk doubtfully. No, that one's special, said Billy. When Billy got home, he ran straight to the kitchen and filled his bucket with water. Cool, said Billy, peering inside his bucket. I can see a rock pool with crabs and seaweed and little shrimpy things. Of course you can, Billy, agreed his dad. I don't think his dad believed him. <laughs> oh, wow, said Billy. I just saw a shark. Of course you did, Billy, his mom smiled. And I don't think she believed it. Guess what I just saw, exclaimed Billy, sitting down for his birthday dinner. I saw a stingray, some clownfish, a bunch of barracuda, and a mermaid, I think, but it may have been a big herring. Of course you did, Billy, his dad chuckled. What's in your bucket at the moment, Billy, his dad chuckled again. Two submarines and a sardine, said Billy. What's in your bucket now, Billy, his mom giggled. Seven sea lions and a walrus, said Billy. Of course, his parents exclaimed. The 
that night, Billy was still staring into his bucket. Billy's dad nudged his wife and winked. Billy, is it okay if we borrow your bucket to mix up some paint tomorrow? Billy shook his head. No, it isn't. There are dolphins in my bucket right now. You must never borrow my bucket. Billy's mom waited a few minutes and winked at her husband. Billy, is it okay if we borrow your bucket to water the roses tomorrow? Billy frowned. There are two scuba divers in my bucket right now. You must never, ever borrow my bucket. Billy's dad just smiled and waited a few more moments. Billy, is it okay if I borrow your bucket to wash the car tomorrow? Billy looked up from his bucket and sighed. <sighs> no, it isn't okay. There's a coral reef in my bucket right now. You must never, ever, ever borrow my bucket. What an imagination, exclaimed Billy's mom and dad. But it's time for bed. Billy put his bucket away and went upstairs. Thanks for a great birthday, he called, and the best present in the world. When Billy woke up the next morning, he got dressed quickly and ran downstairs to play with his bucket. But it wasn't there. Look at his face. He's worried. By the time Billy found his dad, it was too late. Uh-oh. I told you not to borrow my bucket, said Billy. Oh my goodness. Do you see what was in the bucket? A really big whale. It took Billy's mom and dad six hours, three fire engines, four cranes, and a shoehorn to get the whale back into the bucket. They never, ever borrowed Billy's bucket again. Whew. There it is. There's that bucket. That's a pretty cool bucket. The end. That's the end of the story. See you next time.